Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and in this video I'll show you how to build a physical model of a string instrument. And if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a thumbs up, comment, whatever. It just helps us get noticed by more people and we really would appreciate it. Alright, so to begin let's just uh, take a listen to the sound we're going to make. Okay, so this video is based on a previous tutorial um, that I'll give you a link to in the video description. And in that tutorial, we created a physical model of a guitar using the modal bank filter. And today we're going to be going after more of a, a violin or a cello sound and um, obviously these instruments are all very closely related to each other in terms of the way that they're built and the way that they create sound um, using a resonant wooden body and a string. So there's not much that we actually need to change about the guitar structure in order to coax some new sounds out of it. The main difference that I'm going to concern myself with today is that currently we're using an impulse created by the AD envelope here to kind of simulate a pluck of a guitar string. It's a really fast impulse sounds um, going into the filter and the resonant bandpass filters in the modal bank um, create take that sound and shape it into a guitar signal for us. So instead of exciting the filters with a quick impulse like we have been, we want to simulate something closer to a, um, a violin bow. So to do that, I'm going to use an ADSR envelope. And this is kind of going to simulate a constant pressure on the string. I'm going to create attack, decay, and sustain knobs, um, but I'm going to just use a constant for the release. And the reason for that is that the way that these resonant filters work, even if you have a release time of zero, um, you're still not going to have what sounds like a release time of zero because the filters are going to keep ringing. Um, so it's just really counterintuitive to turn the release knob all the way down and still have a really long release on your sound. So I just don't even really want to bother having the knob there at all, basically. So I wish we could just attach this to the continuous exciter input for the modal bank and be done, but unfortunately it just doesn't work that way. And the reason is the signal out of the envelope effectively has a frequency of zero so all of these bandpass filters are not really going to catch it. So we need to add um, something to this that's going to create some higher frequencies in our input signal. And to do that, I'm going to use a noise oscillator, which is technically uh, made up of all frequencies. And to control the amplitude, I'm just going to use the existing amp knob. Um, I'm going to scale it back a little because the really loud noise kind of gets pretty aggressive for the uh, resonant filters. And we can just multiply that signal against the envelope to get a something somewhat close to the sound we're going for. But well, first let's just go put all our knobs into an appropriate place on the panel. I'll give you a quick sound sample of what it sounds like right now and talk about how we can improve it. All 
Alright, so this has some of the sound qualities we're going for, but it still doesn't really sound that great. And one of the big reasons for this is the white noise that we're using is, um, you know, it's adding in all these frequencies at about the same level to our signal. But our, our ears in reality don't hear noise like that. Um, white noise is one type of noise. Pink noise is another that more closely models how our ears hear natural sound. And basically, um, to achieve something kind of like pink noise, we can just use a low pass filter um, on the white noise signal. And there's more sophisticated ways to do this, but this is a very simple fix. It requires no math, so this is the method I'm going to use. I'm just going to change the uh, minimum value for the pitch cutoff because it's so low you can't hear anything when it's down at that level. And now we'll hear things are sounding quite a bit better, in my opinion. And you can still hear the noise here, but it's a good thing because it sounds um, quite a bit like uh, a violin bow making contact with the string, scraping alongside the string. So it's a pretty good overall effect in my opinion. And another way you can do things that I find adds a little bit of character is to add the... Um, envelope to the noise times the envelope and send that in instead just give you a slightly different sound Okay, so there's a lot of stuff you could do to improve on this model if you're interested. Um, for instance, right now we're just modeling the string alone, um, but you, the body of an instrument, of course, is adding character as well. And you can find online, for example, a modal analysis of different instruments that tell you uh, what frequencies the bodies will resonate at, you can add those frequencies into sound to get something a little uh, more rich and full. Um, you can also add stuff like aftertouch to allow variations in pressure on the strings and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. If there's more interest in kind of going down these paths, just let me know in the comments and I'll make some more tutorials. All right, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please check out our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I'll be back with another Reactor tutorial next week. Thanks for watching.